Yo yo, what's up guys? How are you doing? I go by the name Vincent Boy, the entertainment critic officer. And uh, guys, it has been a while and I have said that today is today. Let me answer your question. Each and every time I always get this comment, Mboya, kindly tell us the process on how to go to Canada. And I, Vincent Mboya, I have literally every time I always ignore that question, but I said, let me today do a video and I explain to you in deep details and with nothing but the truth then uh, on uh, the exact process of you coming to Canada. Okay? It has been around uh, four months since me, Vincent Mboya, to relocate to Canada. And uh, me being here, I have seen a lot, I have learned a lot, and also I have uh, experienced a lot. And I have said today, I am in the right position of doing this video. So if you are in Kenya right now, or maybe if you are anywhere, Kamukomal Popote, anywhere in the world, and uh, you think or you want to come to Canada, this is video is meant for you. Because me, Vincent Mboya, I'm going to tell you nothing but the naked truth. Let's start it from here. Before you applying for your visiting visa in Canada, for your student visa in Canada, you should know that this time, this opportunity, this, uh, this season is the best season because right now, Canada as a country wants a lot, a lot of immigrants. Canada as a country has made... A, a, a visa uh, process very easy. Like coming to Canada right now, it's very, very, very easy. As long as you have your papers right, you coming to Canada, it's very, very easy. Why am I saying that? Because Canada wants people, because Canada is a very big country, but it has low population. For those who know Kenya, Kenya itself, Kenya, the whole country itself, it's just like half of Ontario province, the size. The size of Kenya is half of Ontario province. But the population of Canada as per 2024 is around 50 million people. So Canada really needs people. So when right now when you apply to come to Canada, it's very easy. You can come as a visitor and you can change your status while you are in Canada to get citizenship because Canada needs people. Okay? So, when you want to come to Canada, a lot of people do researches. A lot of people go check YouTube videos, go check TikToks. But let me tell you this. When you check YouTube videos, when you check TikTok videos, most videos are always misleading. YouTube videos, TikTok videos, most of them are misleading. There is no video, uh, a few videos which they always say the truth, but most videos they always mislead. They show you two things. One, they show you people suffer in Canada. They show you that Canada is a bad country. They show you that Canada is a hard country. They show you that you cannot survive in Canada, which, trust you me, if you are able to survive in the country you are, whether you are in Kenya, whether you are in Nigeria, whether you are in Tanzania, whether you are in Uganda, if you are able to survive there, let me make it clear you can survive in Canada. So when you see videos that people are showing that Canada is not a good country, that's a lie, a big lie. Okay? Two, another, uh, another line that uh, I've seen people putting out there 
and uh, I've seen a lot of agents using it. It's lying to people that Canada, it's easy to get a job. Let me tell you, without fear, Canada, getting a job in Canada, it's not easy. But you can come to Canada, get your paperwork, be with your paperwork ready, be with your documents ready, and then now wait for work. Getting work in Canada, no one should charge you. He or she will come give you a job in Canada. It's not easy. Let me just be honest. Let me just be honest. Okay? So, the videos that people do uh, in Canada, about Canada, it's lies. Most of them. And then there's this habit that most people always like showing. You know, there are people who have been in Canada for like five years. There are people who have been in Canada for like three years. There are people who have been in Canada for like six years. There are people who have been in Canada for maybe ten years. These people like to um, to to make newcomers fear. In Swahili, they always say like wanauzia watu wageni uwoga. The people who, who have been in Canada for so long, who are wanauzia watu wageni uwoga, they always make people who are new to fear, to see Canada as a, as a, as, as a bad country. Trust me, Canada is not that bad country. You cannot wake up today and get deported from Canada. You cannot. For you to be deported from Canada, there are some procedures that they follow for you to be deported in Canada. You can break a law right now. Perhaps me, Vincent Mboya, break a law in Canada. I will be arrested here and I will be convicted here. For me to be deported, it needs serious crime. And I'll be deported after me serving jail times here and then I'll get deported. If I'll get deported immediately is whereby they will find out that I don't have documents. So when you arrive in Canada, rule number one, get your documents ready. Most people in Canada here have come the same, same way that we like me, like you who is planning to come to Canada, most people have come with the same, same way. So no one should show you that they are superior than the other. No one should show you that they have come to Canada for 10 years, you should fear them. No one should show, should, no one should show you, uh, no one should, should make you fear them in the name of they have come here for so long. No one. Okay? So, uh, that few information I've given you, I'm giving you information so as you get ready before now we start the processing of visa and everything. I'm just giving you the few information so as you 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 be sure of what you'll come and expect. Canada is just a country like any other. So. If you are able to survive in your country back home, you can survive in Canada. No one should tell you otherwise. Okay? Another point that I would love uh, to put out there is when you come to Canada here, not every process um, they resemble. Every man has, like, every dog has its, uh, every dog has its bite. Like, everyone has, like, you see the fingerprints? Fingerprints, they, they are not, uh, fingerprints, everyone has his own fingerprint in this world. So when you come to Canada, everyone has his or her own process. Not everyone that come to Canada must do a warehouse job. Not everyone that come to Canada must clean the washroom. Not everyone that comes to Canada must do, must go and clean old people. No. Everyone has his or her own way of making it.
These are the few things that you should know. You shouldn't come here because of peer pressure. You know, let me tell you another thing. In Canada, the, the smallest amount someone is supposed to be paid is around $16, right? But people here get paid $15. Do you know why? Because of desperation, because of you being desperate. You get desperate, now you start working, you work very hard and get little money. So it's better you just maintain. If you're a Christian, if you're a Muslim, if you're a Hindu, but if you believe in God, if God has was able to bring you to Canada and you are inside Canada, just relax. Don't be in a hurry. It's better you go get knowledge. Go to school, get knowledge so as you get paid good money. You shouldn't come here, work hard, you don't get rest, you get paid peanuts. Because most employers in Canada, they take maybe an advantage of you, newcomer, if you look like desperate. Do not look desperate when you come here. Those are the few points I want to give. Because I know people who are paid $15. In the name of them being $15 power, in the name of them being desperate. You're just like, oh, me, I'm just looking for any job. No. You should know. You should. Uh, because one thing you should know that your body also is not a machine. And one thing you should know that at the end of the day, you'll get a job. You'll get a job. Even if it's after one year, you'll get a job. Don't be in a hurry. There's no one who has been jobless for two years. No, no, no. You'll get a good job. So don't be in a hurry. Those are the few points that I would love uh, to point out uh, before you start applying your visa to here. Come to Canada, relax, don't be, don't be peer pressured, don't allow anyone to pressure you, because a lot of people in Canada, they like pressuring one another, whereby no one has paid for your ticket. If no one has paid for your ticket to come to Canada, don't allow him or her to pressure you. Don't allow him or her to advise you. If you need advice, just Google. Just Google. But don't allow people, because here in Canada, most people give false information. Someone has false information, they transfer the false information to someone else. Someone else takes that information, transfers, transfers it to another person. Someone else takes that false information. So the false information goes on and on and on and on and makes uh, people fear. That's not it. That's not it. And I'm not advocating for that. Okay? So, that's uh, a few points that I wanted to put there. Uh, just tell me if you've loved the points. Just tell me which points I've left out. If you have any question for me, just let me know in the comment section. And encourage me. If maybe you love this content and you want to continue, just let me know so as we do the next uh, video of me now telling you the process of uh, applying. But the advantage part is when you come to Canada and you get your citizenship in Canada, you will be able to travel in a lot of countries. You will be able to travel to Australia. You will be for free, visa free. You will be able to travel to America visa free you'll be able to travel to germany visa free you'll be able to travel to the uk 
visa free so the added advantage of you coming to canada right now and you are able to get your paperwork and you are able to get the citizenship is that even if you'll not get a job but you'll get a visitor you'll get a uh, uh, a traveling document a, uh, a passport a citizenship that will help you travel to other countries visa free and you'll be uh, in a good position to explore the world if you have loved my content kindly let me know in the comment section should we continue uh, me giving you uh, the advice or should we do live streams just let me know in the meantime i go by the name vincent mboya the entertainment critic officer make sure you subscribe on my youtube channel vincent mboya follow me on instagram mboya underscore vincent follow me on tiktok vincent mboya and follow me on uh, yeah, facebook vincent mboya till next time guys we're out bye bye